After leaving Vanathi, Erlangamari went directly to the old jail. She stopped the guards outside and went to the place where Vandiyathevan was confined. He was locked in a separate room. Looking at the top of the prison, he was singing Thamangu excitedly. Kundave came close and cleared his throat before looking back at her. At once he stood up and said, Come! Come! Princess! Come! Take your seat! He greeted that. Which seat should I sit on? Asked the princess. This is their palace. What happens here is their rule, their order. They can sit on the throne here as they wish, said Valavarayan. Sir! When your ancestors ruled the three worlds, Valata's palace was like this. In our city, this place is called a prison, said the princess. Mother! There is no palace or prison in our town now. Together with the kings of many countries, they demolished the palace and the prison to the ground, a hundred years ago. Why? Why? Why are they so angry about the palace and the prison? Everything comes from a poet. Ah! How is that? In the days when my ancestors ruled as emperors of the southern country, from time to time the officials would bring the kings who did not pay tribute as prisoners. On both sides of the palace courtyard there were prisons where the kings were imprisoned. The emperors would wait for when the emperor would be merciful and send them to come, ask for forgiveness and return to the city. It was easy for them to see the emperor. Not enough. While they were watching, poets and poets would go to the emperor's Asthana Mandapam. They would sing songs in the presence of the emperor and return with gifts. Then the petty kings waiting in the prison would say, Damn! Look at the yoga of these poets. Look at the gifts they bring. They will be surprised by saying, Oko! Is it not my white umbrella that this poet is carrying? He is a king. Damn! This poet is going to sit on my lap. It is another Vendan. Oh! He is taking away my title elephant. In vain is another king. This is my horse. My horse will surely knock down this cavalry in one day. Another small king would be happy to say that. For all poets, there comes another poet at last. He heard the princes in the prison talking. While listening, he went to the emperor's son Athana and sang this song, My horse will surely knock down this cavalry in one day. Another small king would be happy to say that. For all poets, there comes another poet at last. He heard the princes in the prison talking. While listening, he went to the emperor's son Athana and sang this song, My horse will surely knock down this cavalry in one day. Another small king would be happy to say that. For all poets, there comes another poet at last. He heard the princes in the prison talking. Thus the song sung by those poets has spread throughout Tamil Nadu and beyond. People often sang and enjoyed listening to it. Due to this, danger has come to our kingdom. They came together with all the kings and invaded and destroyed our town, palace, prison, and everything. Destroy all but cannot destroy that poet's song? Your clan is a blessed clan. Its fame will endure forever. I have now become one to spoil the heroic fame of the ape clan. Aha! Uh -huh. Do you admit that fact yourself? What else can I do without confessing? Slavery is the most evil of slavery. I went to listen to a woman's words and I had to search for contamination in my ancestors' clans. I had to run and hide and hide and live. I saw that I could solve all my anger by killing that doctor's son. An obstacle came and interrupted that. Gone. Sir. Why are you so angry with the doctor's son Pinyagapani? There is reason to be angry. You caught a good man and sent me to Kadakare. He was going to ruin my business. If that is going to happen, a little while ago in the street of this town he called me one of the enemies and tried to hand me over to the guards. If I escape from there, in front of a thousand and ten thousand people in the palace courtyard, I will be Pavur. One of the queen accused him. Mighty Prince! Isn't that true? Which one isn't true? I hear that Pinyagapani has accused you of being the son of Queen Nandini Devi of Pavur. Will you tell the truth? 
I fast not to tell the truth, goddess. Aga. What fast is that? Have you taken such a fast since you saw the Queen of Palavu on the banks of the Arakandra River? No, no. I had already come to that conclusion. As long as I was telling the truth, everyone believed me. At one point I blurted out, the prince is safe in Nagipatnam. No one believed me and everyone laughed. How wrong you have done! It was good that they did not believe your word. How much worse it would have been if they had. Such mistakes will never happen again. Thank you so much for your promise. What did you promise? I will do what I set out to do without making any mistakes. God! I promised nothing of the kind. Enough! Release me from prison. I'll be on my way. Then you will not be free. You have to come from this prison, she said. Vandiyathevan laughed cheerfully. What are you laughing at? Am I funny? No, goddess. If you don't release me from this prison, can't I escape? The princess gazed at Vandiyadeva for a moment with her blossoming eyes and said, Sir, you are a brave man, even more so in escaping from prison. Is this a miracle for one who has escaped from the treasure dungeon of Palyavetarayar? She said. Then open the door yourself and set me free. I can break open this prison myself. Or water can escape. But water cannot escape from another prison. You mean the dungeon of the little villain? No, that is not your ideal either, you will conquer the tigers waiting in the dungeon and escape. Bina, which prison do you mean? I mean the prison road that is my heart. Goddess. I am an orphan without a home. All my clan pride is an old story, a poet's imagination. You, the wealthy daughter of an emperor who rules the three worlds under the shadow of one umbrella. Who saw it? The pride of this Chola clan may become an old story one day. However, today you are the most powerful person in this country. The emperor, the governors, and the prime minister do not dare to go against their will. If all this is true, how can you alone override my authority? Government power is another matter. You mentioned the power of the heart, didn't you? What's wrong with that? The difference in status between us is wrong. Haven't you ever heard the old saying, love is too much, love is too much? Doesn't that old saying apply even to the lady's suitor and the boatman's flower? Yes. That's right. I thought my brother was world-born. So I wanted to touch his chest. I. Too, having heard so much about the prince, came with eagerness. I wanted to go with him to the eight directions and gain name and fame by performing heroic deeds on the battlefields. Isn't that desire gone now? Yes, Pawnee Selver loves a quiet life more than government. He is more eager to work with a stone in the temple than to throw a torch on the battlefield. Mad Huron Thakano has a serious purpose in ruling the kingdom. Goat turns into tiger. Tiger dances. History of Shiva devotees says that Lord Alave turned the fox into a pariah and turned the pariah into a fox. And so, Devi, I became a fox because of your mercy. I had to escape from my enemies by hiding, using tantrum mantras, and saying what is not evil. Princess. I can't do this job anymore. Give up. Alas. Vanati who was thought to be my spiritual friend, is about to abandon me. Are you also intending to abandon me? Devi. I do not know about the affair between the princess of Kajumbalar and you. But how can I abandon them? Rajadharajas are penitent to get hold of their bells and gold. I am the one who has come to court. I lay Aprati then stretched out her thirukaram. Vandiyathevan took the flower with both his hands and looked it in the eyes with the hesitation of whether it was a dream or a dream. His mind and body were ecstatic. Warrior of the Monkey Clan I am from the royal family of Palandamil who inherited the wealth of the land. Some of our clan's capitals went to the fort with their husbands. They jumped into the fire thinking that the fire that burned Potty's body was the dark moon. I've been asked, Goddess. This hand of mine about your hand shall never touch another man's hand. 
Valavarayan was speechless and paralyzed as he looked at Kuntheve's tear-filled eyes. Sir! If your life is in any danger from your anxious affairs, think little of what will become of mine. Goddess! Can this blessed one, enthroned in their hearts, be a coward who fears life? Cowardice is different, caution is different, sir. Even the Prime Minister Anirida has no doubts about their bravery. Then, what is he doubting? He suspects that you may be the cousin of the Queen of Pavur. Then I am willing to give him the same answer as the physician's son Pinyagapani. Open the prison door. Tell me where that man is. The son of a physician is only a little familiar with war. Anuradha knows war without knowledge. The sharpness of knowledge is his weapon. He has never used the sharpness of a sword. Then let me test the sharpness of my sword first. Sir! Next to the emperor in respect is Prime Minister Anuradha. Even the slanderers are reluctant to contradict him openly. The saviors are guilty of guilt. They will be afraid, why should I be afraid? He was my father's best friend from his youth. A disrespect to the first minister is a disrespect to the emperor and to me. Then tell me the means by which I may gain his trust. The prime minister wants to send someone very trustworthy to Kanji. I have promised to send you, trust me. Goddess! Don't send me to Kanji. Some voice inside me said, don't go to Kanji. It says so. Couldn't that be the voice of the youngest queen of Pavur? No. Shall I hear the voice of that venomous dragon against their word? Sir! Don't you ever talk like that about the young queen of Pavur? What is this? Why this sudden change? Yes, my mind is entirely changed on her subject. After hearing the news you brought from Ceylon. So now I have to treat the young queen of Pavur with reverence. Yes. She gave me the killing sword she reverently worshipped, and said, Bring Inner's head. Do you have to bring it even if you say that? Kundave Devi's body was trembling. Her voice trembled as she replied. You have to be respectful to the Queen of Parvur, but you don't have to listen to her. She probably doesn't know what she's up to, does she? That's what she said. I don't know why I am worshipping this knife. Hearing this, the princess said in an even more trembling voice, God must save this Chola Tokudi. Vandiyathevan said, May the saving deity keep this poor man as a device and save him. Sir! I believe so too. When you come back from Kanchi, you must go to Ceylon once more. You must somehow bring that dumb mother here. Bringing her is like bringing a whirlwind into a pitcher. Someone once said, Yes. It was that heroic Vaishnava. He might have brought her. No, he can't do that. You must. Then don't send me to Kanji, Devi. Why? My master is there. If he asks, I must tell him all the details. If he learns about the conspiracy of the Palyavetareus and other petty princes, he will rise immediately. If he learns that the emperor is being kept as a prisoner, he will immediately leave with an army. If he had heard about Pani's son, he would have left even if he had already left. That's why, I want to send you. To somehow stop him from leaving Kanji. What if he left before I reached Kanji? Go and join him wherever he is along the way. There is one thing more important than anything else that you must do. Tell me. We have received news that the great Palyavetare has left for Kadampur mansion with Ilay Arajani. Is it really the younger queen going? Or the younger queen's palanquin? No, the younger queen is going. My stepfather is still here. Why are you going? Aditha Karikalan has also been invited to Kadampur. Talks of marriage are the obvious reason. There is also talk of dividing the kingdom into two and making peace. My master would never consent to that. I don't care about that now. Then what's the matter, goddess? Unspeakable fear dwells in my mind and my chest beats tick-tick. In my half-sleep, indescribable terrors surround me. In my sound sleep, I wake up with terrible dreams. Then my body shakes for a long time. 
why do you separate yourselves and ask me to go in this situation? At any risk to them, give my life. Sir. My fear is about me that day. About my Tamayan, about the Queen of Palvur. My heart is troubled at what will happen if they meet. You must prevent them from meeting alone. Goddess. If he wants to do something, who can stop him? Sir. You must help me like an iron shield to protect my daughter. If necessary, tell my brother who Nandini is. Would he believe that? It's your responsibility to tell the truth. I don't know how you'll do it. It would be best to make it impossible to meet them anyway. Vandiyathevan said, Devi. I am trying my best. Don't blame me if I fail. Sir. Even if you fail or succeed, you will not be freed from the prison of my heart in this life. Said Erlangamari.